Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for Acid Rain figure. They're made by Ori Toys. They're 1 18th scale, roughly the size of a G.I. Joe figure. So around 3 to 4 inches. And in particular, we're taking a look at Argus. He's the sniper. And uh, this is a really nice uh, box art. You have that ghillie suit. And he is holding that uh, sniper rifle there as well. <laughs> really nice. And if you're new to Acid Rain uh, figures, again, they're the 118 scale military uh, figures. They do have uh, vehicles as well. They're really nicely weathered and very detailed. I really like them. I started collecting the line. And yeah, they are kind of pricey, but it's, 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 to, it's go along with the detail and the effort in making them. And I really enjoyed it. I think it's well worth the money uh, spending on these guys. Right, so uh, this is pretty much it for the box art. I'm not going to do an unboxing. I, I did a couple of my earlier videos with Acid Rain and they're kind of similar. Basically, you, you get the, the slides out, cardboard box, and you have a foam inside to protect your figure. Alright, let's take a look at Argus. Alright, we got Argus here and he has that really nice uh, Gillis suit. Kind of like that uh, netting. It's for camouflage. <laughs> kind of goes all over his body. There is a bit of cloth underneath, and underneath as well. Yeah, really interesting how they made this. Really cool. Right, so the sniper. Uh, it's actually there's a tab or a little clip here that you put on. I find it a little hard to put on and probably a little hard to take out as well. But. Uh, Maybe I'll do that afterwards, but I just let's take a first look at the figure um, Out of all this we can uh, remove that uh, here. Let me can just take this out and uh, Pop this head out we Remove all this And we have the main figure here so far uh, from what I've seen there's uh, armor. It's different for each one of them, which I really like. Really nice. All right, so uh, close inspection. You got that really nice helmet. There's a lot of. Um, not quite sure what those are on the side. <laughs> there might be infrared or different. Uh, Things that helps him uh, see through the dark, infrared, uh, night vision, stuff like that. Really cool. Then you have this, this vest here with a lot of pouches. Um, we I just recently reviewed the king. His pouches are kind of like vertical. This one is horizontal. It's probably his uh, ammo. And you get a little pouches here in the waist really cool and there's probably a tab it's probably right there that you can take this out and swap it out if if you want to do some customization in terms of articulation they're kind of your standard uh, acid ring figures i kind of went over it before but if this is your first time uh, seeing this yeah, i'm just gonna quickly go over it again they're on a bolt joint which you can pop out and the base of the neck there's another joint for allows him to look up, look down. Then you have the shoulder here, and it's a straight bag that you can rotate. There is a swivel there. Straight bag here, and another swivel at the elbow. There we go. I don't think there is a waist articulation, and there, I think. Oh, there is a little bit. But, uh,. This part kind of hinders it. Then you have the hips, the legs, you get a ball joint there, you get a swivel here. Uh, the knees are double jointed and <laughs> they're always stiff. So you can uh, move them as well. You get the ankle here, which uh, gives you a little swivel. It's a uh, kind of interesting design. What Sometimes there's a little bit of like a hollow gap there, but. For the most part, this uh, joint system works. Allows him to uh, tilt his ankle like that. I like it. 
and again uh, just looking at the paint app nicely detailed really cool although this is gonna be all covered with a gillis suit <laughs> but it's up to you you can have the suit on uh, this thing here or you can just uh, take it out yep but again uh, putting it on just kind of drapes on top I think That might be in the back where I had the the clip for the or to hold the weapon. There we go. And this one's actually just a straight uh or they kinda rolled it up and loop it around. Or you can actually put it on first, then put it on top. Either way, then you just kind of drape it on in front of his head. Gonna hide his face. <laughs> yeah, it just depends on your preference. There we go. It's hidden. <laughs> Alright, and uh, let's take a look at the rifle. Alright, and uh, I was looking at the info. This is actually. Uh, a heavy artillery snipe, uh, sniper rifle, so like an anti-tank. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's huge. And I think there is also a, a stand here. Really nice. Nicely uh, painted in detail. And I was mentioning about that uh, clip before. It's really hard to put this on here. Uh, it does not uh, damage the paint at all. Uh, this, the paint is, uh, it's in there. Sometimes you feel as you're gonna scratch it, but it's it stays. Uh, more than likely, I'm not gonna use this clip, and yeah, for reasons that it's just hard to put it on there, and it would make sense to put it on the scope. So <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just probably put it or hide this inside the box, and just have them hold this for the most part. Yep, I like a hollow part there. Huh? All right, and uh, we're just gonna have him hold it. Probably hide the stock underneath. And have his other arm gonna guide it and yeah it's just a matter of opposing him and getting him just the right angle <laughs> although sometimes I kind of part find it hard uh, to there we go I think that works you just gotta play around with it a little bit get the right angle and there you go. Again, really nice figure. And yeah, that kind of complete. Well, adds to the team. If you have a sniper, a king. It's kind of like the demo man. Oh, I kind of wish he has a shotgun and some explosives. <laughs> yeah, really cool. All right, that's about it for my review for Argus the sniper. Again, I got mine from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. And I'll provide the link if you're interested in getting him. Really nice figure. Alright, that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. So until then, this is Meats. Thanks for watching.